Hey, you guys, Pastor Chris Perry here, Middle Man Ministries. Uh, man, I just want to jump on here real quick. I don't want to be long. Hopefully, I won't be long. <laughs> you know how us pastors can be. Um, I just wanted to say, man, that God is so good. God did an amazing, miraculous thing in my life today. Um, man, this, this ministry, Hope for Appalachia, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. They go down to uh, Kentucky, uh, Southern Virginia, you know, some of the poorest parts of this country. Uh, or right there and they go and they minister to schools and they minister to kids and man, they just share the love of Jesus Christ. Pastor Mike and Lisa Dodson, uh, really, um, uh, New Salem Baptist Church in Culpeper. Really, God just opened the door to them and they're just walking in that door. Well, uh, just like that door, um, as they were actually participating at a church, um, for other purposes, um, as well relating to Hope for Appalachia, um, they were invited, hey, you know, would you come? to the jail and, be, and do that. And this was last year. Uh, and they, they said, you know, why not? Absolutely. Uh, and they went into the jail and they did their thing. Well, well, this year, um, they, they had given me a call and they said, we have, we have an opening. Um, we'd like you to join us if you're willing and want to. And this is Northern Neck Regional Jail. And that might not mean much to some people, but it was in Northern Neck Regional Jail 23 years ago that I was in transit. Uh, for my federal sentence that I had just received 87 months for that I accepted Christ as my savior. I, w I had, I had left, uh, 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 Alexandria, excuse me, in July, <laughs> July, my days are all messed up. I had left Alexandria in January and I was there until February, uh, mid February. And then they shipped me out to Cumberland, Maryland. And while I was there, um, they put me in a pod called J pod. And in J-Pod, there were some people that gathered in the center that were Christians that called it Jesus Pod. And these guys were, you know, they were doing their normal thing, having Bible studies, singing songs. They were doing all. And, and one of the gentlemen that was a part of that Bible study, man, he looked over at me. He's like, hey, man, why don't you come join us? You know, he knew I was struggling. I was in an empty place. I was a dark place. I was 23 years old. That's an amazing thing, too. I was 23 years old. This was 23 years ago that I was there. These guys asked me, they said, man, if, you, if you're, if you're willing, we'd like to have you. And I was like, what? Man, like God, are you serious? This is what you're doing? So I went down there with them. I met them down there early this morning and we went in there and they, they permitted us to come in there and preach the gospel. And man, we got to love the people with the gospel. You know something even more powerful than allowing us to come into the jail? They let us go into J-Pod. They permitted us to go to J-Pod and preach the gospel, share the love of Jesus Christ in the pod. This is where I got saved. I could see the tables where I got saved. I could see the center of the place where we were gathering. I could see what God had brought me from. And 23 years later, how he had brought me back. But this time not to be saved, but to draw other men out with me. To go and share the love of Jesus Christ. Man, can I tell you how powerful and amazing God is? And God is so good. I mean, I, you can't make this stuff up. I'm telling you how unsearchable are his riches and his ways past finding out. God is so good. It, 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 my words leave me when I think about how God has, where he has brought me from to where I am and with great anticipation to where he's taking me. And I just want to encourage somebody out there that, man, while you don't might not understand it, while you might not know it, and you're like in these places of serving and feeling like things aren't happening, man, give God time. Stay faithful. Stay focused. Continue to seek the Lord. Continue to serve the Lord. Be patient. He that is faithful in little, God will, God will increase and give you more. Man, he's not through. He's not done. Everything that God does is, man, it's, it's unreal. The power, the power of the word of God, the power of the spirit of God, it's unreal. God is so good. So, man, I pray that you can rejoice with me from this great blessing. There were a lot of people responding to the call of the gospel today. There were a lot of people that we got to pray for, a lot of people that we got to minister to. I mean, just, just God just opened. It was just a wide open door. And I believe that God is opening more doors. And I don't just mean for me, I mean for the church. God is looking for people who are willing to walk through these doors. When I call, will you answer? 
When I say go, will you go? God is looking for us. God wants to know, are we ready? A lot of times we say we are, but we're not. God wants a willing vessel. God wants somebody ready. God wants somebody to hit the streets. God wants somebody to walk through that door. God wants somebody to go to that store. God wants to, you know what I mean? At your job. God wants you to be, he just wants you to be available. And, and if you keep making yourself available to him, he'll open up doors like this that you don't even know how that happened. Like how in the world did that happen? How did 23 years later, how did I wind up in Warsaw? My, my, my. The amazing and powerful God that we serve. So if you don't know him, man, Jesus Christ wants you to know him. If you don't understand him, don't worry. Be patient. Ask. Seek. Knock. He's going to reveal himself. His heart and his desire is to reveal himself to everybody who wants to know him. And if you're hungry, he's going to fill you. If you're thirsty, he's going to give you drink. And just like the woman at the well, he's going to give you water. And once you drink of it, you ain't never going to thirst again. Glory to God. So listen, this is Pastor Chris Perry, just a quick testimony of the goodness of God, of the miracle working power of God and how he does things in our lives that we don't even understand. Coordinating things when we're not even paying attention. We're over here doing our what, doing, doing what we're supposed to do over here. And God's over here formulating, shaping something else over here. Man, to God be the glory. Please rejoice with me. Give God honor. Give him glory as I do, man. I rejoice. I thank you, Jesus. I praise the living God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everybody that hears this, that they be encouraged and strengthened, that Father God, though right now they might not see the fruit of their labor, they might not see where they're going, they might not understand it, but God, greater things lay ahead. And Father God, you are going to do a great work in their lives. All you're asking for them is to abide, to remain faithful, to commit their way before you, Lord God, and see, see the goodness of God, see the salvation of the Lord manifest and materialize in ways that they had no idea that you would do for them. God, I thank you and I praise you. I believe, I know you're going to do it for the ones that are looking, for the ones that are striving, for the ones that are believing for it. I know you're going to do it, God. You're faithful. God, may it just multiply in testimonies and in praise unto your name. With thanksgiving, I offer unto you, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. Everybody who was able to watch this, thank you. I thank you for your love and and and, and uh, support. Continue to pray for this ministry, Middleman Ministries. Continue to pray for Hope for Appalachia, uh, Pastor Mike and Lisa Dawson. Continue to lift this, these ministries up, please. We covet your prayers. We need them. The church praying one for another while it is yet called today to be encouraged. I love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.